It's true. It's true. It's them true. The band that you've been waiting for a reunion forever, they are doing a reunion most likely in 2024. Welcome to another episode from Takedowns to Breakdowns with a &P. and today we're here boys and girls and children of all ages. Hopefully there's no children of all ages watching this shit because today we're going to go down a very dark hole. I'm going to be very anal in this episode. I'm, uh, I'm only wondering now. Okay, so this episode we're going to talk about two things that I feel need to be addressed. One is going to make you extremely happy and one I think is going to bring some lulls to this conversation. Hit me. First one is, it's true, it's true, it's them true. The band that you've been waiting for a reunion forever, they are doing a reunion most likely in 2024, Creed. Oh my god. I knew that was going to make you happy. I knew that was going to bring us back to this place. We gotta go. They updated their social media links. They haven't announced it yet, but all signs point to 2024 is the year of, of Creed. Oh and I'm God. going to embrace 2024 with my arms wide open. I think if we go, we got to be dressed as like apostles, you know, because the Apostles Creed. <laughs> I, didn't th I was like, I, you know what I thought you were going with this? Apostles, like with their arms wide open to receive Jesus. That's where I thought you were going. <laughs> that too. Yeah. But that's where I thought you were going. But now I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do that. And wear sandals. Exactly. Fucking, okay, fine. Get, wh where the fuck were we going to buy that? Like Amazon? I'm sure you can buy, you can buy a Jesus costume and just not wear the Jesus stuff. But I may want to wear the Jesus stuff so I can walk around saying, my arms are wide open, children. Like, you know, taking my followers in. Fuck. Uh, anyways. Uh, the cult. Listen, dude, I think the tickets are going to be expensive. But I think if there's one concert that I'm willing to break the bank on... It's Creed. It's going to be... I feel like I have... I, I've never seen Creed before in my life. I hate Creed, but I gotta well, I hate, go. But I hate Nickelback more. Yeah, that's true. That's right? true. So if I'm gonna support uh, well, one, yeah, but it's not like Nickelback is doing a comeback. I mean, they never they never went away. Unfortunately, true. they've been back. <laughs> you know, they never went. They, they've been bringing sexy back for a very long time with no sexy. So, anyways, uh, I th I thought this would would start off the video on a good note, make you happy that there is the prospect. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. The fact that they updated their social medias, it looks like 2024 is going to be the year of Creed. And what's the other news? No, hold on. But how much are you willing to spend here on, on a ticket? Okay. I'm not paying for your fucking ticket. Not a lot. How much do you think they're going to go for? 200 Yeah, I don't think they're going to go Metallica VIP tickets. Right? They're Creed. It's not like it's Nickelback. <laughs> Fuck, but, but you know how many people are going to want to see Creed? Even the haters are going to want to go see Creed. Come true, on. Because true. if you don't see them in this time around, you're probably never going to see them again. I mean, this is probably going to be... One of the... Do you think they're going to do the Florida Marlins song? I hope so. Can someone do a tweet? If, if they do come back, please do the Florida, Florida Marlins song. I, I That needs to be on the set list. <laughs> Definitely. It has to be the start starting one. So uh, this week we had this incredible news. Okay. But then we also had the whole Adam-22 thing with his wife. Oh, is that over else? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Linda the Plug. <laughs> so what what the fuck is going on with those two? They got married like a like a while ago, like like not not a long time ago. Like, oh, pretty oh, recently, like a month ago or something. <laughs> yeah. They got married, and bear in mind, I don't pay attention. I I only knew Adam Twenty Two. I already I only knew him when he was hanging out with like uh, rappers back in the day, like like X and all those guys. And I stopped watching his stuff, and then I was came I came to the someone someone brought it up in a in a situation or whatever. That he has his podcast with his wife and stuff. Yeah, would they invite porn stars and, and then, then they, they up, chat and, and then, then they, they up... have sex with a porn star? Exactly. But right? they're always chicks, by the way. They're always chicks. <laughs> yeah, they've always been chicks. But now... No, but this, he was not on the podcast. Dude, that's not how the... the you, I don't know why you... I know he wasn't on the podcast, but but the, for her OnlyFans and stuff, it would always be the chicks from the podcast and Adam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but... he was basically having a threesome with his wife and, and, exactly. a, and a porn star. Exactly. Like, they do the interview, and then after the interview, they, they bump na nasty. Exactly. But but now, his wife is doing a scene without him, so it's not like a threesome with another dude. And oh, him. that would have been really awkward, though. I feel like it would have been better than this. No, huh? no. Well, it would... It technically... For, technically, would have been better for him, but, but still, dude, that would have been really weird. With really the same weird. guy? Like, it would have been really weird. I mean, like... Dude, it was... Like... <laughs> I've watched the video. Oh, would, no. would, I'm sorry. Like it would have been more like Adam Eleven, not really Twenty Two. You know what I'm saying? Like the other dude, like 
The other dude is head and shoulders above him. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep this as PG as possible. But I, the, the thing about this is that is that I, I I'm a little bit divided about it. Okay. First of all, you know, uh, how can I put this? The fact the fact that he he let this happen. Like, all right, let, let me. I'm just trying to get my like because I feel I honestly I feel divided about. It. On one on one hand, I say this. Listen, his wife has been letting him have sex with other women, with her, yeah, and videos and whatever, this whole time, and that was cool. So if it was cool for her to do that, why is it not cool for him to do? Because he's not part of it. I guess the fact that he's not in the video is what makes it I different. I think that's what makes it different. If he was in the video, it would have been nothing. So yeah, but this way he can sell more. He can make more money this way because like, he's not in it. No, and not only that, he's creating this whole. Bu Everybody's talking about it. Well, yeah, but he if was, he was in the video, nobody would be talking about it. He wasn't struggling before, though. He filmed it though, so technically he was in the video. Oh, he filmed it. Yeah, it was. It was a whole like you know. Oh, that makes it even worse. <laughs> Honestly, that makes it even worse. What makes it worse was the podcast after, where he interviewed her about about doing oh. the, the scene, and she said that she couldn't walk for like four days or something. You know, uh, that, that was worse. Like, imagine hearing that from your wife. Meanwhile, like whenever they do it, she's like, oh, "I'm going to the gym right after." Like, you know, <laughs> you know, you know. After the other dude was like, oh, "I gotta go to the doctor." After him, it's like, oh, "I'm going to the gym." You know what I'm saying? Fuck, that was wait, what a story. And then he posted like a couple of days ago that who, who should I let her have sex with for the next video? Brian Plummer. I'm like, dude, like, what, what the fuck, what are you dude? Doing? Like, I, I know, I know you're not racist, obviously. Neither is she. But like, what the fuck? like, are, are, it's like go big or go home. Is is that is that kind of like the model? Already fucked, already fucked up once. Might as well fuck. keep it going, I guess. Jesus Christ! I I don't know. I, I don't know. I honestly feel like we we've got we've reached a point for some people where it's not about how you feel. It's not about what's right, what's wrong. Uh, because I feel like he's swallowing uh, hard. Like I mean, I feel like he's like doing this, but it, deep inside, like he's crying on the inside. I honestly think so. But regardless, I think at the end of the day, he's like, what can we do that can really generate? Some serious money. It's not money. like he needs the money. By the way, you know, like he, he doesn't need. He the reached money. out to the guy Jason Love. It's the guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. He reached out to the dude, asked him how much he charged for a scene. The dude said four grand. He says, "I'll give you 10. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. I wish I had that, had that kind of money. Exactly. So he's not really like. He's not. He's not broke. No, he's not broke. But you gotta admit, this whole situation is like. It's weird as fuck. It's very, very weird. I wonder if they were listening to heavy metal while doing the scene. Probably not. I don't know, man. I think some Fudge Tunnel would have been perfect. For a porno soundtrack? No. Fudge Tunnel? No. The Fudge Tunnel. You don't like the name of the band? No, I don't like the name of the band. <laughs> I, I thought that was appropriate. Especially when they go, like, when they're playing towards the second hole. Okay. And it's subpar on the second hole. But I think this guy went for an eagle. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was a hole in one. Definitely. Yeah, well, actually, two, two. holes in one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, maybe even three. Uh, but anyways, it was quite the story. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't throw a dick around without hitting uh, something about Adam Twenty Two and his wife and this and that. It's it's like all over, all over, you know. So anyways, I figured that uh, I would bring some positive content to this to this show, to this channel, to this uh, to this little corner of ours. Yeah. But hey, there's always Creed coming back in exactly. 24. Exactly, Creed. Fuck. Creed so 24. if you thought letting your wife have sex, not only letting her have sex with a porn star, because, oh, she's technically a porn star too, but paying the porn star to have sex with your wife while you're filming it, so then you can sell it on OnlyFans. If you thought that was bad, Creed is coming back in 2024. I want, I want one of those Republican signs that instead of saying Trump 2024, I want to say Creed 2024. Every every guy, there's also Biden 2024. Doesn't have to be Repu it's not like Republicans the, the, own the but sign. But that one looks different. They all look the same. They have the name of the guy 2024 with some fucking stars on it. Yeah, yeah, but I want just the, one is blue and one is red. Like whatever. I feel like the Trump one. I think it gives it more of a, I don't know, distinct ambiance. Fuck! I thought you were gonna say I. I hope Adam 22 in his next video has a sign that says "Making Marriage Great Again." That's Definitely the, not. <laughs> He's doing the opposite. Whatever you do, don't take relationship advices from that guy. No, definitely not. 
<laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Or else you're going to be the one filming. Well, at, at least you was there. That doesn't matter. That's even worse. So what's worse, being there or then having a podcast after where he's interviewing her about her experience? And I'm, her saying that she couldn't walk for like four days. Well, I'd rather not see that. I'd rather just like hear that. I don't want to see no, it. No, but he saw it and then he heard it. Exactly. But I'd rather not even do any of those, actually. <laughs> you don't want either one of them. I don't want this entire situation. <laughs> especially paying 10K. That's a lot of money. Fuck. I know. I know. Especially when the guy was like, I give you four. I, I need four. I I'll need give four. you 10. Yeah, and my exactly. wife. And my wife. 10 and my wife. Fuck. This like... Maybe he values his wife higher than four? Maybe. Maybe he was like, you know what? We're going to make a boatload of money off of this. Just take 10. Just take 10. Makes me feel better. Like, I don't God know. damn. They have a kid too. Yeah, I know. So you know, like, the kid is going to grow up. This shit is going to be on the internet forever. It's not like you can get away with this, you know? And I don't know. I feel like people don't really think about the future. They don't. All right. So are you excited to see if Brian uh, Plummer... Uh, pl I'm just ready to see Scott, or whatever. Scott Stapp. Oh, you're more excited about Creed? Yeah, more excited about Creed. Let's stop talking about that one. All right. Let's talk talk about that. So anyways, keep your eyes and ears open, folks. Creed 2024 looks like it's going to be a reality, and it's going to be a doozy. I didn't have that on my bingo card, but here we are. Here we are. All right. So with your arms wide open, we'll see you all at the next video. See ya.